What is up YouTube? So today we're gonna be working on the windshield wipers. What's happening is they're moving back and forth, getting stuck or getting uh, stuck in the down position, middle position, or speeding up randomly. Um, so first things first is you wanna take off this, um, mine's a 90 Chevy pickup and it doesn't have the C circuit board. People, a lot of uh, videos are on the C circuit board which is basically really easy to take off, but it's in a C and then the plug would be right here. Um, mine's the older style. So the way to get that off is uh, you use a Torx, a 20 right there. And then in the front of this, right underneath, tucked up in there, there's another one that's a 20. Of course you wanna take off your intake, just move it out of the way so that way you could get a 20, a Torx 20. So uh, just like this, so if I can get in the light, just like this. So I have this on a socket. Um, I tried these, but the L-shaped handle kept hitting here. So you need something that's straight. And yeah, so it's just those two. And then this whole thing should come off straight out. Just like that. So I mean, Technically, if you don't want, you don't have to take this one out. I thought I had to take it out, but it looks like it's it's for uh, the motor itself. So make sure you leave that one in. Just take out the one underneath, and let's see. So this was in the front, and just like this. So turning it on in, it's that one. So it's tucked up under there. Um, there's no videos on taking this off or no images. They just show this about in that position and uh, I didn't know which ones to take out. So from here we'll pop these little tabs off right there and pull this straight out and uh, fix the circuit board. So let's see if this fixes it. Um, so yeah, here's the Torx uh, that came out of it. So this smaller one, the shorter one right there closest to me, it, uh, that one went at the bottom. The longer one went up here. So only take one of them out. Trial and error. Okay, so to take this apart, all I used was the panel removal tool and basically pulled it right away up here on this side and on this side there's one. And this whole thing pops off really easily. And then you pull this straight out. So if you look in there, it pulled straight out. So, one thing I'm gonna do first is clean these terminals here where everything mounts to, and then this side. Because where I took out that top screw, yeah, there was another plug where this slid into, and then uh, the harness goes into this area. Um, so, these little things, I'm gonna just scrape them with a wire brush or something, clean them up. Uh, maybe put some grease on it. Looking along here, um, everyone complains on the C uh, style circuit board that this area is usually the issue. And if you look close, everything looks good, but if you look close here, they're kind of cracked, as you can see. So the little solder joints are pulled away. So, let's see if I can get up close. So, Right in this area, in this area, you can see like the solder kind of pulled away over the years. Um, so I'll just re-sweat that. And by doing that, all you do is take your soldering iron, heat it up, and touch down. Uh, with that focus, just touch down on the areas, and it'll it'll allow uh, the solder to re-sweat into the crevices. You could also add a little bit more solder to it if you want, and that will work it as well. Um, if this doesn't work, then of course you're going to have to dig deeper. Either this board is messed up, or you got to look into the wiring harness, uh, play with the little plug area where the wires hang, because uh, that could be an issue, um, and just work your way back. But since mine, they turn on, and then randomly they'll stop and then they'll turn back on. Uh, 
I have a feeling it's these joints here or the plug areas uh, may be loose or need cleaning. So definitely look into this. Okay, so of course I put that screw back on before installing this. And then I put the lower screw back in and I pushed this plug in and let the little clip clip over it. Uh, all this was assembled the same way I took it off. Okay. All right, so the moment of truth. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on, check them. If they work, of course, that's not gonna distinguish if they're gonna continue to work. Um, but at least we know that I didn't screw anything else up uh, any further. So we'll definitely uh, keep you up to date. If you have any questions, say a month from now, definitely post them in the comments below to see if these are still running. Of course, if they stop running, I'm gonna have a series of videos to continue to uh, fix this issue as I go. Um, but like I said, it's a hit and miss type of thing. So it really isn't gonna like appear here and, and fix all your problems. So if it's an ongoing issue, then I'm gonna tap into other things. Uh, but first things first is if you don't get no power to them, definitely check your fuses. Uh, if you have any relays, check those relays. Swap them with a like relays. Um, so if you had one, say for something else, you could plug it into, say, the windshield wipers to see if those kick it on. Um, if it does, then you know it's your relay. Uh, if you still, if the issue still persists, definitely consider it, uh, consider soldering those terminal ends on that module just to like weed that out as an issue uh, clean all the terminals check your wires and then uh, just keep uh, going down the line of the do the easy things to fix first because of course you can fix them real fast see if those are the issues and if not then of course get into the more technical stuff um, but definitely let's check this out so if it works, then I'll just continue to uh, rock it as is. If it doesn't, then of course I'm gonna uh, have to look into it a little bit further and then more videos will be posted. So as you can see, that's uh, low speed right there. So they kicked on again, that's a good sign. Let's kick them up a little bit higher. Okay kick them up all the way on high so they're going pretty good okay so I turned them off right now um, so as you can see I didn't mess up anything um, I just reassured that those solder joints were good we'll continue this and uh, if anything else arises then I'll definitely post it as I fix it Okay, so we're gonna replace the windshield wipers on the 90 Chevy pickup, 94 and above. I think they're 19 inches. Um, 88 through 93 are uh, 18 inches, and then of course the other ones are 19. Okay, so that's the part number. Uh, these are $13 compared to 20. It's a work truck, so it doesn't matter. These are the old ones, I just popped them off. And the way you pop them off is you depress this little button. There's a little button right there. You push it in and slide up at the same time, okay? You have two options, so you have a, a large hole and a small hole. So we wanna use the small hole. The default is on the large hole. So, and the way you know is when you push it this way, you can see straight through the hole. This one you can't, so what you wanna do is push up on this and it'll pop out of the clip. It'll pop the clip out, you flip it around and you reinsert it, okay? kind of hard to do it with one hand so you just reinsert it like that it clips and now you can see the small hole all the way through okay and you just put it on slide it over and then I'll put it together you might be able to fit a 19 on here uh, but the reason why I don't want to do that is because you can see a half inch here it's about three quarters to an inch maybe left 19 splits the difference so you uh, accumulate a half inch here but as it rotates up it might touch the very top of here the reason why the 97 or the other pickup trucks from like 95 and up 
Uh, the reason why they're able to work is because they don't have this style. They have a hook style that slides into this and that's what they give you these extra attachments for are for those types of vehicles. So you have this style here that does a few other, other ones and then uh, the hook style hooks into here and then slides back. So, but yeah, once you get it in there, you just push down on it and it pops in and then there you go. If you don't swap it, it's gonna be loose and it's gonna do this inside that pivot. So you don't want that. Okay, so to take the bumper off, use an 18 millimeter socket to take off one right there, one underneath, one over here, one underneath, and then mirror it to the other side, copy the same format. And then also to shift this bumper forward, there's also um, some bolts that go through. They're on this side, they go this way. And as you can see, there's three of them. And uh, that should allow you to adjust it slightly if you need adjustment. But once it's off, now you could access these side panels. Um, little filler uh, plastics. And then you get the two bolts that are up there. Okay, so there's a slight difference between the new one and the old one. So the old one, it has these tabs right here. As you can see, they're kind of flat. They got an angle cut on them. And then there's these ones that are about that size, right? All the way down that happens. So the larger ones are for these slots. The new ones, as you can see, they just have a little pin sticking out. They're all consistent size. And they go in all the way down. They're about this size, okay? So that doesn't hold it in, okay? It's still movable. What they did was give you instructions here, okay? And then they have these flat washers that are like a spring washer. So they have a some type of cutting teeth on here and uh, the way these work they give you these instructions in this so on the back side where these pins are they'll stick out through the bottom or so you'll put put it in and then the pins will stick out on the back side what you do is you take these washers on the back side slide them over this use this put it over that and hammer them down to hold it on okay and that all happens on the the back side of this bumper and that's how this holds on. But before you do all that, you want to, uh, they also gave me this. I, I don't know what this is for. Uh, maybe they were thinking if for some reason this got messed up, you could use this. I don't know. But the issue is we have this right here. Okay. And um, the, the old one had these notches on it from the factory. Okay. So you're gonna have to mark out the same notch and cut it yourself. You could use some dikes and cut it or a die grinder and cut that away. It'll just be like a square shape. Um, so that way your license plate thing could go on. I think also the reason for that is if you didn't wanna run um, a front license plate, it'll conceal it So from the top. So let's get to installing the rest of it. Okay, so the way you use these tools here is for the flat washers up here, the larger ones, like that one, you use this big one. The smaller one is for these littler ones, so on the sides. That's what this one's for. But it could also be used on the larger ones as well to really drive it down. So I use this one to preset everything and then this one was just driving everything solid. Um, you're gonna need two people with you because you need a way to back this plastic up. When you hit it, you can't use your foot right here because it's not uh, stable enough and it'll leave a gap around the trim. So you're gonna need some, just like how this is, you're gonna need someone to stand it upright so that way it allows pressure to be put right here. And then also when you hammer it, it's hitting on a solid surface. And use a regular size hammer or um, a sledge type hammer, like a two and a half pound or three pound, and it'll drive these on a lot easier. So keep in mind that there's a, uh, 
a hex head on this side and there's a nut on the other side of this. Um, I was fortunate that it didn't spin, but I noticed when I took up the license plate, it was on there. I thought it had like a hex mold in this plastic that held that, but it doesn't. So when you go and put everything back together, you're gonna have to back up one end of it. Also, when cutting the trim out, make sure you do not cut too high, because as you can see, you can see my cut. Um, I was just following what this one had, and that's a little too high. It could be covered by just lifting up on this and then tightening everything down, uh, but just keep that in mind um, so you don't see that. Not too big of a deal, it'll still look good. Um, but definitely something to keep in mind.